Polaris dealer. That means big savings on all remaining 08 Polaris ATVs and side-by-sides, and an impressive line of all new 09s, including the all new unstoppable Sportsman XP. The hardest working, smoothest riding Ranger ever, the all new Ranger XP, and the new ultimate performance side-by-side -side Ranger Razor S. All totally redesigned from the bottom up for 2009 and ready for a world of extremes. See how the new 09s stack up. Check out the competitive comparison videos for Ranger and Sportsman now on display in your local dealer. And don't miss out on the season's best offers with up to $800 in rebates or as low as 4.99% financing on all remaining 2008 select Polaris vehicles. Now more than ever, it's the season to ride but it's only for a limited time. I commute to work. I spend a lot of time in my car. I rely on AAA. Whenever I've called for help, they're there. I use AAA for everything to do with my car, to insure it, fix it, even a battery when and wherever I need it. And as a AAA member, I have access to a whole network of savings at places I shop all the time, even online. And that saves time. Call 1-800-JOIN-AAA or join at AAA.com. Membership for life. My name is Larry Papadopoulos. I just got back from a day boat fishing trip. OK, two weeks, three days, and 14 hours. I could use a shower. But at least my fish is fresh. Look, it's just as good as Legal Seafood's fish. Oh, come on, it'd make a great fish sandwich. Fish nugget? I'll be at the bar. When it comes to fish, there's only one place you can trust. Legal Seafoods. If it isn't fresh, it isn't legal. You're watching Comcast Sportsnet. Xbox 360, now starting at 199. continued here at University of Phoenix Stadium. Will it be an upset today? BYU taking on the number 20 ASU Sun Devils, 41 to 36. They have the lead at the half. This is the girl that pushed the toy, that made electricity, that lit up the school. These are the BYU engineers that designed the toy that makes electricity, that lights up the school. This is the university that taught the engineers that let up the school and 217 places. Brigham Young University, education to help the world. And this is a good place to start. How to have fewer hangovers. Method one, don't drink. Hangover avoided. Method two, take chaser while you drink and wake up feeling great. Breakfast in bed not included. Let's review. Method one, don't drink. Method two, take chaser while you drink. Wake up feeling great and cute as a button. Individual cuteness may vary. If you get hangovers, try chaser. Just take two pills with your first drink and two more later. The choice is yours. Don't drink or don't drink without chaser. Please drink responsibly. Oh, did you hear McDonald's has cappuccinos now? McDonald's? Yeah. 
Well, that's awesome. Yeah. I can shave this thing off my face. Yeah, we don't have to call movies films anymore. We can talk about football. I like football. I like sitting and watching football. I don't need these glasses. These are fake. I do need mine. They're very real. Also try McCafe Mocha's rich, dark chocolate with freshly ground espresso beans and real steamed milk. It's all the coffee. Hold the attitude. Now at McDonald's. I almost bought a beret the other day. Don't. to the Big Apple to watch the Celtics face the Knicks presented by Amtrak. One winner and a guest will receive round-trip tickets on Amtrak's Acela Express from Boston to New York, two tickets to the February 6th game at Madison Square Garden, and one-night hotel stay. Log on to ComcastSportsNet.com and enter to win a night in New York with the Boston Celtics as Amtrak presents Fast Break to the Big Apple. We're breathtaking. Heartbreaking and earth-shaking. We're yesterday, right now, and the future. We're fast motion, slow motion, and e-motion. We're nuts for sports and sports for nuts. We bring you the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Yes! That's it again! We're in touch, intense, local, and original. We are Comcast Sportsnet, the network of champions. Mohegan Sun Sports Tonight, weeknights at 6.30 and 10 p.m. We're back at the stadium shootout in Glendale, Arizona. We'll play March Madness coming up here in the, this coming spring. So today an event to get the building ready. First ever basketball event here. Minnesota beat Louisville in game one. And in game two, BYU has a five-point lead. And Marcus, 70 points has been basically a magic number. When BYU gets to 70, they win almost every time. First half plays, therefore, into their hands. Right? Yeah, the tempo definitely in their in their favor. And the other thing is that BYU right now shooting 58% from the floor. So Arizona State, to me, the adjustment, you may need to come out of that zone if they continue to, to light up the nets the way they're doing. But uh, right now, the tempo definitely favors BYU. All right, it started off with Jeff Pendergrad having his way inside. Well, and that's because the BYU's not double team, and they're covering outside shooters, Kuczyk in particular. So Jeff Pendergrad, no reason why he should not have pretty much a career day if he is fed properly and then James Harden the All-American from Arizona State he is so good I don't care how you are in terms of your team concepts he's going to find a way because he's got that unique ability to find the bucket and the body control to get it up and on the glass get to the free throw line do all the things you need for him to do at the other end BYU Jimmer for a guy that, that we're real high on uh, did a nice job, let the game come to him, started picking up his aggression late, but you can see the ball handling, the shooting ability. And then Jonathan Tarbinari, he was the, the beneficiary of great ball movement, as we say with Rick Pitino, either you're looking to score or helping somebody else score. Well, Tarbinari's teammates did a great job of helping him score in the first half. There's the blistering shooting for BYU. And, you know, Marcus, you asked a question, would ASU come out of their zone last Sunday? It's exactly what Herb Sendek did in the game in downtown Phoenix. Yeah, I think he's, he's got to give that a lot of consideration. You look at the points in the paint, Pentagraph's done a nice job. Uh, they will continue to feed him, but it's that defense of ASU, the usually solid, stable defense, I think is the major concern for the Arizona State coaching staff. And that 13-3 run that ended the half, the last two baskets, threes for Jonathan Tabernari. Herb Sendek having to think things over at the half. BYU by five. Freedom of choice. It's what makes this wide open country of ours so great. So whether you're into paved roads, dirt roads, or no roads, Toyo makes an open country tire that's just right for you. No matter where the road takes you. Critics all agree, Mohegan Sun Sports Tonight is about sports. Andy Gresh says, Felger is a smart guy. Is he replaceable? Ultimately, that answer is yes. But Michael Holly disagrees. Because even when he looks bad, he's excited. I mean, fans love the electricity. Tony Maserati says, Tangway's got great hygiene. He's been unbelievably consistent. But Rob Bradford says, They talk about it. I, I don't see what the huge, huge deal is. Mohegan Sun Sports Tonight, now playing. The first time I took five hour energy, I didn't feel bad afterwards. You know, usually you take energy drink and along the next three hours at some point, you just hit the wall and I never hit that wall. It just was a natural energy that stuck with me for a while. 
five hours or so. One of my friends on the team, a guy I'm with a lot, he uses it and he likes it. You know, he calls me, make sure I have two when I come in the morning, because he always needs one. I say, well, go buy your own, but I'm kind of like the five hour designated driver. <laughs> five hour energy, I use it, I love it. Number one for family programs in North America. Three big mountains with terrain for everyone in your family. 24 feet average annual snowfall. 78 trails for skiers and snowboarders to choose from. Half pipe and terrain parks. 1,000 acres of terrain with something for every ability. More than 50 years experience providing families like yours with unforgettable vacation memories. It all adds up to the winter vacation of a lifetime. Here at Smuggler's Notch, Vermont, America's family resort. At the stadium shootout, BYU with a five-point lead on Arizona State at the half. The ASU update now is associate head coach Diedrich Taylor with Jody. Okay, with associate head coach Diedrich Taylor. And Diedrich, how much did you work on perimeter defense with them hitting the six threes in the first half? You know what, we, we knew that they would come out and shoot the ball well. They're a very prolific passing team, and they shoot the ball exceptionally well. So as much defense as we tried, it's not enough right now. We've got to turn up the heat a little bit and get better at it. James looked like a man on a mission. How do you keep him involved in the game? Well, I think we've got to keep moving the ball. He's catching it, and we're kind of standing around watching him and watching him make a play. So we've got to get more man movement, more ball movement, and catch them closing out and try to get some different angles to the basket that way. All right, thanks, Coach. Thank you. Jody, uh, there are the scorers. Tavernari hit the last two threes of the half. James Harden, you talk about an all-around half. Bendergraf had 12 points. Harden had nine points, but he also had three rebounds, three assists, and four steals. Yeah, and that's the thing I'm impressed with, the assists. Not being greedy, not being selfish. Miss, and then long rebound, Ty Abbott. ASU in the white, with the ball down five. Seems to be Tavernari's M.O. I mean, come out, cast early, cast long, and then all of a sudden, kind of find the range as the half progresses. Man game, pentagraph card, screen, re-screen, in the middle of the floor. Group six, a little deep there for his three, and Kamard back. Kamard, quieter half. A couple of quick fouls, he had five points. When, when you have Jimmer Fredette and Tavernari playing at the high level, they played that offensively. If you leave Kamard, you can, you can afford to kind of pick and choose your spots, and this may be one of them. Nice, nice attempt. Couldn't get it there. Trying to set up the big man, Miles. Get an ASU arm. Lee Kamard, Co-Mountain West Conference Player of the Year last year, shared the honors with uh, Wink Adams of UNLV from Mesa. So he's got family and friends. And there's a nice inbounds play, and then Miles ends up with a little short turnaround. It got about two or three different options that are extremely effective on Dave Rhodes' inbound sets. Harden and one. Yes, you know, great IE individual effort on the part of James Harden. And again, I don't care how good your defender, defensive philosophy is, your team defensive concepts, your individual defender, you can make just tough, difficult shots against bigs with body control, athleticism. There's nothing you can do. And one thing he does is that I like to, I mean, he, he aggressively attacks the body of that deep. He makes sure he gets that, he, fouled. that he's going to get fouled. Yes. And, and in the process, negates the jumping ability of the shot block. He just kind of lands on top of you before you can elevate, so you can't jump to block it. That's great, Marcus. I think that's one of the great underrated traits for scores. Yeah. Right? True scorers do that. That's why Adrian Dantley scored about 20,000 uh, more points than I did. Yeah. Derek Glasser pleading his case, but that was an obvious. I mean, he just hip check Kamard, whether he, I'm sure he didn't mean to, but he did. And Kamard's got a chance for a four point play. I mean, mean to or not, it's, it's like, you know, get a, getting a penalty in football for running into the kicker. I mean, you've got to at all costs avoid contact on a three point shooter. I don't care if it's inadvertent or if you accidentally did it, the fact that you did it is the mistake. No matter how it happened. Four-point Kamar play, and it's an eight-point lead now for BYU. 
ASU, we, we said that they they played uphill the entire game last Sunday. Yeah. And they're going to have to play uphill the second half. And they're used to it this season. Against San Diego State, they were down 15 to 2 early in that game. I mean, you don't want to you don't want to make a steady diet of it because of, because of the energy that it saps out of you. But at least they have been in this territory before and know the mental toughness it's going to take to climb their way back into this game and then to a lead. Second foul against BYU's Gavin McGregor. So Miles and McGregor, the two big men, two fouls each. Martin, shot fake got for that. Then, oh, and he just he threw a beautiful pass. Pendergraft couldn't catch it, and now Martin gets himself back to the line. Back to the line, flinging his body into the defensive player. And I love the fact you brought up Adrian Dantley, the guy you played against so much, college and pro. There, there's that lob pass and just uh, mishandled by Jeff Pendergraft. Great, great pass inside, and then again, finding, finding the body. Because I, I look at it to take it to the Pac-10 comparison. We talked about this last year, Marcus. As a pedestrian observer, I would say that was the difference to me between James Harden and O.J. Mayo. Yeah. O.J. Mayo doesn't get fouled for him. He doesn't get himself fouled for him. Right, he just kind of settles for the long jumpers when you think about his game. But, you know, Adrian Dantley was one of the all-time great scorers in the league because he got to the free throw line 10 times a game and, and, and invited the contact inside. Harden with the two foul shots. James Harden now has 14. The first ASU guy since Eddie House to go for 40 at a 40 pointer against UTEP. A couple of weeks ago in an Anaheim tournament. Tabernari, that's 14 now for. Sal Bernardo Brazil. He showed me enough watching him this afternoon and, and watching him against Boise State. He didn't have to settle for being a long range jump shooter. He's got more to his game than that. He's just not one of these strictly spot up and shoot long range bombers. You can't fall in love with that. He's got to mix things up, especially when the outside long range shots not falling on a consistent basis. There was an unusual sight there. There are two BYU players next to each other. They quickly, Emory and Fredette quickly separated. Kamard, and then he's fouled on the down flank after he snatched the rebound. Abbott got him. And that's one of the things Dave Rose talked about with Lee Kamard yesterday. He said, you know, he's one of these guys when we're, we're, we're bogged down offensively, having a tough time scoring. Someone to take a shot and miss, he'll chase down the offensive rebound. And you saw it right there. It's just straight nose for the basketball style of play by Lee Kamard. He kind of anticipates where it's coming off, knows it's coming off hard by watching the flight of the ball. He gets his body there before the Arizona State player comes. Jackson Emery's three, though. Jared Ship in off the bench for ASU. Hook six out. Look at Harden dribbled right through yeah. two. <laughs> split. <laughs> Just split them. Split them, and then the finish was all about the work that you put in during the offseason on that little in-between teardrop floater. They did, that he did a beautiful job of knocking down, but I could just envision him in some anonymous gym working like two, three hours a day on that, just that very move. Well, a little shuffle start there. So Harden's hoop, and now a turnover. So ASU, slight opening before a break here to narrow the lead. Nice split of the D, but then watch the finish right here. A little teardrop, a little teardrop. Just kind of just floated up there before the defender can jump, if he's going to jump. Nice. Arizona State's done a nice job cracking up the defense. Marcus, in college, where so many defenders are taught to try to sneak in and steal that late charge, that teardrop to me would be such an important shot. Yeah, right? get, get rid of it quickly, and, and it, it, it keeps you under control as an offensive player. You know, you're not just barreling down trying to get to the rim and dunk the basketball. You're looking to take that quick one, two step. Rebound here, and Ty Abbott gives ASU a second shot. Harden got Kamard up and then got a foul up. Boy, there's another great example of Harden creating a foul when Kamard was trying to get out of the way. Yeah, and Dan Harden taking over right now. And he'll be at the line when we come back to try to cut into the BYU lead. When it Taking care of your vehicle is a year-round priority. If your vehicle is in need of a tune-up, oil change, or anything else, we have some great news. Visit any Speedy Oil Change and Tune-Up Center and purchase any two services totaling $75 or more or a $75 gift certificate or more. Receive a lift ticket to Waterville Valley courtesy of Speedy and Comcast Sportsnet. Quantities are limited, so visit a participating Speedy Oil Change and Tune-Up Center today for your chance to hit the slopes. Speedy Pass, the fastest way to Waterville Valley. 
We're breathtaking, heartbreaking, and earth-shaking. We're yesterday, right now, and the future. We're fast motion, slow motion, and e-motion. We're nuts for sports and sports for nuts. We bring you the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Yes! it again! We're in touch, intense, local, and original. We are Comcast Sportsnet, the network of champions. It's tip-off time, and the preseason rankings are history. It's down to hustle and heart, talent, teamwork. Backdoor, zone traps, dribble drive, full court, buzzer beater, loose ball, fast break, outlet, hardwood, drop step, go time, show time. Whoa! Slow it down, Cinderella. Time to set your own tempo. It's a brand new season for every team, but in the end, there's only one champion. Ready to be for everyone. Back 10 hoops, BYU with a six point lead on Arizona State. Tomorrow, Sunday Night Hoops returns, presented by Pizza on a good doubleheader. Pittsburgh, Jamie Dixon's third ranked team will go down to Tallahassee against Florida State. And then Clemson squares off against Miami. It's ACC. I guess they start a conference play already. Hey, huh? Let's get it on. Yep. Coverage at 5 30 Eastern, 2 30 Pacific, and high def tomorrow. You said just going to break, Marcus. James Harden starting to take the over. Yeah, and you know, in the first half, kind of a facilitator, allowing the game to come to him. Now he's really doing a nice job of creating shots for himself and, and just using his unlimited talent to create shots for himself and scoring opportunities for himself. He's averaging 24 points, seven rebounds, almost four assists a game, shooting 58%. So he's taking good shots. Scored all the points for the Sun Devils in the second half. He scored nine. He had nine in the first half, nine in the first four minutes and change in the second. Arizona State still in that jump zone, but they are aggressively. Foul too. Yeah, I mean, good, good hard foul, good foul. I mean, it was indeed a foul, but but nice job of recovering a little breakdown. Backline defenders uh, allow the pass inside to an un unguarded Gavin McGregor, but just a great job of recovery and then making Gavin McGregor happen to knock down two free throws. McGregor's a senior. He and Kamard are. And Archie Rose, the only three seniors, so BYU is going to be pretty strong next year. Well, Dave Rose has got it going on in the, in the Wasatch Valley. Got two 6'10 players coming back from their LDS missions to rejoin the team next year. And some uh, hard there by Jimmer for dead. His third. Jimmer not as big as uh, Jackson Emery, and, and not really as quick, as, as quick laterally. Just watching defensively against James Harden. They're going to move Jackson Emery right back over to Harden. Kamard and Fredette, two BYU starters, three fouls each. No ASU man with three turnovers. Fredette. Boy, that's a pain one. ASU prides themselves on not turning it over, and that cost them three. Fredette's at 14 points. Pendergraft gets two quick ones back. Also at 14. And Lee Kamard is again seeing some defensive attention, but he's got to stay aggressive. Wow. Catch and shoot. Man. He has got one of the quicker releases, doesn't he? Wow. Talk about a, a, a quick on the trigger. Cavanari just right there wasn't even looking at the basket when the ball hit his hands. So you don't think he's going to shoot it that quickly. Oh, oh and hard great body control in the air. And, and Herb said that he wanted a foul. I mean, that's a foul he's yelling at Bobby McCoy. He, he's probably right. Harden has 20 now, 11 in the second half. Man 
man-to-man -man defense by Arizona State. They, they've come out of the zone. We know good, strong defensive rebound by Arizona State's Jeff Pendergraft. Pendergraft gets the ball at the block. Nice. And does and finishes. Big Jeff. Isolated on the inside, I tell you, he should have a career day the way he's being defended. Arizona State needs to beat him as much as possible. Another catch and shoot. Oh, man. Another catch and shoot job. BYU <laughs> shooting in the stadium for them? Not a problem. Wow. To Tabernari, just again, the yeah. quick release right near the free throw line. They're shooting, and this game is again going at BYU's preferred pace. Pendergraft can be a little bit more patient. Didn't have to rush the shot because, again, the double's not coming. Trying to get a bit of it before a double teamer can get there, but double teamer's not on his way. Pendergraft, I think, tweaked an ankle. is going to have to come out of the game. Heading toward a timeout. This Camarge baseline ball, no. ASU with it. Won't get a stoppage here. Harden jab step and goes on Emery and one. Harden fouled. They call Tavernari and give Harden the goal. Harden not to be denied. I mean, that was close to an NBA continuation type. Well, that is it. Dave Rose is really upset. That's exactly what he said, Mark. See the contact happen before he starts to one two. And well, we got some emotions heating up here. Dave Rose called a timeout, then he came out on the court to question the call, and that's got the Arizona State side upset, so. We're in full-on game here <laughs> at the stadium. Uh, James Harden, you see Dave Rose still upset about Harden getting the and one, five-point BYU lead. Get your seat as the march to the madness takes over L.A. The Pacific Life Pac-10 Men's Tournament at Staples Center. The State Farm Pac-10 Women's Tournament at the Galen Center. Let the madness begin. Buy tickets now at Ticketmaster.com, Pac-10.org, or your favorite Pac-10 school. Liking people just for their looks is bad. <laughs> Unless you're the one looking good. Unleash your hotness with an awesome cut from Supercuts. Mm, what you got cooking? Stylish cuts, only at Supercuts, every time. Stress is evil. Smother it with a tingly Supercuts tea tree experience. Seriously, it tingles. Of all the feelings in the world, tingles gotta be in the top three. <sighs> Stunning. Tea tree by Paul Mitchell, only at Supercuts, every time. Get your chance to be on TV as a fancaster presented by Comcast. If you're a middle or high school student, log on to ComcastSportsNet.com and you could be a member of our Celtics broadcast team. Just send us a video of you reading our sample script. You'll check out our Comcast Sportsnet TV truck, meet Mike and Tommy, and stand on the famous parquet floor to introduce the Celtics hero among us. So send your video today. Fancaster presented by Comcast. We shoot, you score. A good game and, and really getting intense in the second half so much so that when that call was made just before the break that Dave Rose did not agree with he called a timeout and then came out to half court to question the officials. Yeah, see that's what he's saying. Yeah. I called the time. The ASU fan side didn't see him call the timeout. Right, they thought he was just storming the right. court. He did call timeout first clearly. But he's, con he's complaining about the yeah. perceived continuation allowed to James Harden, who got bumped while he was not in the act of shooting, but that's one of the things the officials have made a point of emphasis yes. on starting last year, just to be a little bit more relaxed with that call. That's right, we talked a lot about that during the Pac-10 yeah. tournament. That we were told by the supervisors that that, that, that was the case. Yeah. I mean, as long as the guy has started kind of his shooting motion, starting his move toward the basket, not so much his shooting motion, but his move toward the basket, that if it's in a natural flow, they're gonna allow the bucket to count. Which I think is good. James Harden is 23 now. Lamont Morgan is in the game for BYU. Miles back into the center. Fredette is out. And the back tap of an air ball 
so no reset. And and one for Miles with Boateng in the middle for ASU. Yeah, and, and Chris Miles, I mean, he's a, an offensive-minded player. One of the things Dave Rose talked about with him, why his playing time hasn't been as much as Chris Miles would like, because he exerts a lot more energy at the offensive end of the floor. But they're just a nice job playing off a of contact, up and over Boateng. Jump hook and the potential and one for BYU to increase this six-point lead. There's Kavard up there fighting. Now, ASU is holding teams to 61 a game.